What you are about to see is not what it seems. It is a drama written in a very special way. It's called an allegory. Do you know what an allegory is? No. no? All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you. An allegory is a story that parallels another situation. It is a story within a hidden message. It symbolizes something, everything inside. It symbolizes something. Everything inside the allegory connects with something outside the allegory. And this thing within the story is actually the thing outside of the story, which is, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> this is a gas station, and this is a gas pump in a, in a car repair shop. Check under the hood. No thanks, I had to check last year. Unleaded? No thanks, diesel. But this car doesn't take diesel. Yes it does, I like diesel. Do you have the car keys? <laughs> what for? To unlock the gas cap. Oh, that's the gas cap? I thought it was there. That's the exhaust pipe. Now I'll just fill the tank with unleaded. No thanks, diesel is my favorite. But that's why the car is blowing out clouds of black smoke. You mean it's not supposed to? No it's not. Are you sure you're not having any problems with this car? Nope, no problems. None at all, ever? Well, now that you mentioned it, for the first two weeks I drove it, it used to make this terrible burning smell. But I fixed that myself. How? I took the handbrakes off. It seems to roar a bit. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, it does roar a bit. But it's the smoothness of these automatics. You can hardly feel the gear changes to first, second, third, and up to fourth at 75 miles an hour. It's a manual <laughs> transmission. Yes, I have a manual here in the back. Oops. No, I mean the car is a manual. You were driving in first gear at 75 oh. miles per hour. You don't say. Ever notice the engine missing? Nope, it's always been right there under the hood. Is it timing off? No, my cycle cords keep scratching timing. But the other morning when I started the engine, I didn't notice a big metal thing come flying up to the hood. What do you think that could have been? A piston? <gasps> There's no need for that sort of language. Ma'am, you don't know a lot about cars, do you? I wouldn't say that. Do you have a spare tire? No, I'm on a diet. Where's the jack? It's back home along the lawn. Ma'am, your car is a red. Nope, it's a Ford. <coughs> Ma'am, there's a lot wrong with yeah. your car. If you keep driving in this condition, it will burn out, break down. Can I get a second opinion on that? You don't need a second opinion. The car barely made it here itself. Why don't you let me fix it? The thing does need a complete repair renewal, and there's nothing I can do about it. There, satisfied, you made me say it. Sorry, I missed my line. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's me again. I'll just jump into the drama at this point to illustrate what I was talking about before. Remember how I said this was an allegory? Well, look, what has happened? The customer just admitted the car needs complete repair and renewal. She faced up to the situation, and she confessed. Confession is the first stage of the process. Now let's see what happens next. Well, you're in luck, because I'm free and can do it right now. Hold it. Hold it. Who's going to fix it? Me. Why you? Because I'm the mechanic. I know how to fix cars. Well, how do I know that? How do I know you're the mechanic? Well, look at my hands all covered in grease. Yeah, we could just be about to put gel in your hair. Well, look at my clothes. <laughs> yeah, we could have gotten those at a second-hand store. I can get you to see my trade qualification card. Could be fake. Well, I can get you to talk to satisfied customers. Could be relatives. <laughs> Ma'am, look, I can keep giving you all these reasons that I'm a satisfied that I'm a qualified mechanic, but you're going to have to trust me. Have some faith in me. Um. Hello, just a quick point. Hello, just a quick point. There's the second step. How exciting. First step, confession. Second step, faith. See the hidden meaning ba back again later. Um, all right, I'll trust you. There does seem to be enough evidence for an intelligent decision here. Um, can I help? I'm very mechanical. Uh, you can watch. Oh, there's lots of parts to a car. Mm. What's that piece? It's called the differential. Differential? And you said it was really supposed to be in the back of the car? Yes, we'll put it back there again. I can't understand why they didn't work. I used to oil them every day. The whole engine is filthy and it's full of metal fillings and oil sludge. We'll have to flush it out and cleanse the whole thing. Yes, I suppose it could do with the cleaning. Sure it could, especially the radiators get rid of all the tea leaves. Well, it was a very cold day and I was feeling a little poorly and the radiator was boiling so nicely I thought I'd make myself a nice cup of tea. But it did taste a bit chemical though. But it's full of additives. 
Oh well, I suppose that's why I don't freeze up on cold days. <laughs> we'll have to flush it out and we'll have to clean the whole air filter. Suppose it's a bit blocked up? Yeah, those air freshers you put in there really made a difference, didn't they? I just wanted it all to smell nice. Well, we'll have to clean the whole thing out. Yes, clean it all out. Well, so the whole engine is going to be flushed out and thoroughly cleansed. What an interesting algorithm <laughs> statement that is. First step, confession. Second step, faith. Third step, the thorough cleansing. Now, 16 hours later. Well, there it is, all done. Oh, it's looking great. All lovely and clean, just like new. Yes, it certainly does make a difference. All right, beautiful. You've done a great job. Now, what do I owe you? Oh, nothing. You can have it for free. For free? Really? Yep, no charge. All free. But it took so long and you worked so hard. And look, you cut your hands on the sharp metal pieces. Oh, well, it's worth it seeing it all working properly. Oh, well, if you insist. I insist. Okay, fill up with diesel and I'll be off. No, no, stop. You can't <laughs> use diesel. If you put diesel in here, it will ruin all the good work I just done. But, but I like the smell of diesel, and the deep, dirty war makes me feel like the car is a truck. No, you can't use diesel. You see, this car is only designed to run on lead. It's the right spirit for the system, and if you have the right spirit, you'll have better power and performance. Power? Yes, power and performance. Power? You mean I'll be able to drag off that teenager who lives across the street? Probably. Okay, unload it, please. Must have the right spirit. Well, there we have it. Well, there we have it. First step, confession. Second step, faith. Third step, the thorough cleansing. And fourth step, the spirit that gives power. Wonder what that could symbolize. Let's see how it all sounds. Okay, take it away. Well, now you know what an algorithm is. Interesting, isn't it? And you'll be able to go home and tell all your little brothers and sisters you've seen an algorithm drama. And they'll think you want someplace educational. <laughs>